Hi, it's Stephanie, and this screener is in response to a screener I saw this morning regarding a domino falling effect, and um, I had an idea, so I thought I'd do a screener on it, and this is what I've come up with. You can see at the top here, these are the dominoes that I've built in PowerPoint that I'm using for this effect that's down at the bottom of the slide, and um, it, there's an animation that makes that triggers this and makes these dominoes fall, so let me just show you what it looks like. I'm just going to preview the animation. I've added a hand in there just to kind of knock down the, the, uh, the dominoes. I'll do it one more time. Sometimes in Screener when you're doing, uh, when you're showing an animation like this, the animation looks a little jittery uh, when you're watching it in Screener, but uh, in PowerPoint here it comes out nice and smooth. So let me show you how I created the effect. First off, I created a domino, and the domino was just simply a rectangle in circles in PowerPoint. So you can see it, even if I highlight that, you can see that, that all those little objects are being um, highlighted. And I just did it one square at a time. So I took the bottom piece of the domino, created, you know, just drew a black rectangle, two white circles in the position of two, and then that's it. And I repeated that for each of the other pieces, and I just snapped them together to create the fully formed domino. Underneath each of these dominoes is also a box. It's the same height and width of the domino itself, but it's transparent. So in other words, it has no fill and no outline. And the reason why that, that that's there is because I'm using a spin animation in PowerPoint to knock these dominoes down. And when you use a spin in PowerPoint, it spins it from the or sorry, from the center of the object, not the bottom. So if I didn't have this transparent piece down below, when this domino falls, it's actually going to fall from the center of the domino, and it's not going to create a realistic effect. You want the domino, in like in real life, to knock down from the bottom. So by adding this little piece here, it elongates, it increases the height of the overall domino, allowing the spin effect to occur right at the base of the domino, which is where I want it to be. So once I did that, I just pressed Control C, and then I went up to the Home menu, chose Paste Special, as a PNG to preserve the transparency of that rectangle box that's sitting below the domino. So now I've got this um, heightened or a larger domino, a taller domino, and from here I can apply the 3D effect. Now I just applied two simple effects in PowerPoint from the format menu under picture effects, under preset, I chose a preset of 12 which is in the lower right corner and that gives it a little bit of a twist. You can see the, the little twist that it adds into the domino. And then further, under Picture Effects, 3D Rotation, in the Parallel Group, second row, first option, which is off axis, one left, um, which just creates a, a bit more of a sheen, nice little shine to it, um, but also it gives it a bit more perspective as well. And that's it. That's all I did. Now you can see the shadow is a little off here, so you may want to turn the shadow off or work with the shadow options, but for the screener, I'm not going to do that. So I repeated that process to create each of the, each of the dominoes that you're seeing here. Once done, I line, line them up on the screen. Now, I didn't line them up in a straight row. Rather, it's actually angled. So the reason why I've got this um, kind of rectangle wood piece in here, it has the perspective um, that I wanted to make the dominoes fall onto. And for that to look relatively realistic, you have to follow this angle of a line. So that's what, kind of what the dominoes are doing here. They're following the same line that you're seeing here. So you just want to have, have the dominoes lined up with a bit of perspective. And then once you've done that, you just want to apply the animation effect of spin. So from the animation menu, just choose spin. Now this is PowerPoint 2010, but 2007 has the exact same option. After you apply the effect, you just want to make sure that it starts with previous. Its duration is fast. So um, you can do that either from the menu up here or you can go under effect options is, and, and apply the timing. So there's a timing tab here. You can just choose 0.5 seconds for very fast. And under the effect of the spin, you want to change the amount of spin. By default, it's at 360. So change it to 60 degrees as the uh, 60 degrees clockwise. And then, um, and that's it. And you want to repeat that process for each of the animated or each of the dominoes. Now, in PowerPoint 2010, it's pretty easy to do that rep repetitive um, animation work because it has an animation painter in it, very similar to the format painter. So it makes it very easy to do. Um, and then just want to make sure that uh, each of the dominoes, the timing delay between each is point is at least 0.25. So picture the first one comes in and then a quarter of a second later the second one comes in, quarter of a second later the next one and so on and so forth. And once you've done that, um, basically you'll get this kind of effect. So hopefully you find that helpful.